Welcome to Scramble Game Show. Uh, as you know, we always uh, have a, a half hour inviting a guest on our show. Uh, today, we have Mrs. Uh, Yu Hui Wu, a teacher from Northern Westchester Chinese School, uh, who is also an artist. Uh, we call her art Artist of uh, Beating. Uh, she is our guest today. Uh, She's first time on this show, so I will just spend a minute to explain to her what the Scramble Game Show is. The Scramble Game Show is a word game, as uh, many of the audience know, an interesting word game that stimulate your brain uh, playing word game. Now, this game has been uh, in my family for 20 years, and I just introduced, and I I'm really overwhelmed by the response out of kids when they play this game, they really enjoy it. So we now uh, bring this game to the uh, studio and share with the public. Now, today, uh, Mrs. Wu, uh, thank you for coming to our show. Okay? Uh, scramble game is, a, is a, a word game, but we always trying to make uh, the show uh, to include some uh, art part so to make the show more interesting and uh, today uh, we'd like to you know talk about your specialty here this uh, uh, art of beating okay uh, first uh, tell us a little bit about your background well um, I am I'm actually a computer scientist I work in IBM but I like doing craft mm -hmm. so I have been doing all kind of different stuff I start with Chinese nodding mm -hmm. And now the new thing that I'm into right now is this, this new craft called beading. Mm -hmm, I see. Now what's the difference uh, between nodding uh, and the The beading? Chinese yeah. nodding and the beading stuff. In Chinese nodding have been in, in history for a long time, but using Chinese nodding, um, there's all kinds of different techniques. Dif different nod have your different techniques. And Sometimes it's hard for kids to remember different uh, techniques for doing the nodding. But in beading, there's only f a few basic strategies that you make a bead. Um, beading, ha I think people have been doing beading for a long time, but uh, traditionally beading people use it to make jewelry, like necklace. Um, so what I call the beading that I have here is more of a 3D type because mm -hmm. you could yes, use the B. See, a lot of the yeah, you could use the bee and then you connect them together and make different things. For all I have here, most of them are animal, but it's not limited. So whatever you like to make, I know people using B to uh, make, a, a, for example, a purse. Mm -hmm. uh, a sleeper, whatever you think of, you could use B. And mm -hmm. Chinese nodding is, is more on you make it for decoration only. Mm -hmm. So kids doesn't quite relate it to Chinese nodding as yeah. much as beading stuff. That's right. But in Chinese school, uh, this Chinese nodding has been uh, sort of a tradition. Yes, right? yes. Uh, Northern Western Chinese school always include this cultural mm -hmm. sort yes. of courses. Uh, I know that they have, uh, of course, Chinese music, mm -hmm. and they have uh, Chinese uh, chess, and they have uh, calligraphy, and, and they have these craft, art and crafts, uh, like the knotting and so on, and also the uh, paper cutting, which is... Yes, uh, it's uh, all traditional Chinese, Chinese craft. Yeah. So uh, now beading is added onto that list now as a new course offered. Yes, uh, starting uh, this semester, I mean the mm -hmm. 2006 uh, school years, uh, we start to think about something else for kids to get involved in because Ch 
Chinese school is not only for you to uh, learn culture, but there's all kinds of things that you could associate with the culture. That's why we are offering this class. Yeah. There's also Chinese nodding that, um, that have been going on for three years now. The beating is just starting new. Mm -hmm. And kids, are, kids like that. Kids right, like right. that. Yeah, I, I think uh, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not uh, at all so related to art. Okay? When it comes to art, I'm just uh, blank. Uh, but I do appreciate, and I see the, the display, like for example, this display mm -hmm. uh, sometimes at the uh, Chinese school. Yes. Um, also, the nodding was displayed at the Chinese mm -hmm. school. The paper cutting was mm -hmm. displayed at Chinese school. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, all the things that uh, can be made by you know just simple you know, uh, paper and beads and or uh, yeah. threads. Yeah. So here, w uh, would you uh, sort of explain to us yeah. some of these objects that you made? And, uh, yeah, sure. Um, there's another. Differentiation between Chinese nodding and the beading is that uh, if you want to, if you learn Chinese nodding in school, you want to do something more. It's very hard to get the material for Chinese nodding because mm, this yes. type of string you very hard to find. Yeah. But for beading, you could just go to any craft store, uh, and the bead is very, yes. very much popular. Yes, yeah. yeah. it's mm. and cheap too. So if kids like it, they could always play around it and try different kind of mm -hmm. stuff. This type of bee I call, uh, these are just normal, your plastic bees. Mm -hmm. And this is a Pikachu that my daughter made. Ah, um, Pikachu, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> doesn't quite look like it, but it's a Pikachu. What you could do with the beading is that you could imagine stuff. For example, we didn't have a picture or, a, a, so to speak, a book to tell you how to do it. But you could learn from the different type of animal that you could start to put them together. The basic of so you beading, can add your own you, you could create your yeah. own stuff. Mm -hmm. Chinese nodding is harder to create no, new stuff because there's always a fundamental rigid, yes, uh, you know, sort yes, of you have procedures. To, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this one I think is better for child creativity. Mm -hmm. So yes. I think this is good. Um, let me go through some of. Let me just first show you what when kids start the school. Mm -hmm. What I teach them is I give them a picture of what. Oh, I call it instruction. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you could see well, but the basic. Uh, we will try to. Yeah, if the, you raise up, maybe the camera could. Oh yeah, this, there's a. a I the can basic see the pattern. Yeah. Basic is that the picture show you how many B you have to connect together. Mm -hmm. For example, five B, and then you start with three B, and then each of the B on that ring of three, you start to make that into four, mm -hmm. and each of the ring, uh, each of the B in that ring. You connect with 5B, so mm -hmm. that's how you grow it. Mm -hmm. So so what I teach kids, so you have this logic idea of how you read this. So this is also a, another good training. Too. Maybe your computer science training actually comes into play. Well, I use there's, a, a, there's, a, <laughs> there's a logic in behind and also the, uh, the connectivity yes, part of it. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. So the, the basic is very simple. Mm -hmm. You grow, you want to make a wrong ball. So you have start from a ring of five, Mm -hmm. And each ring you grow into five. So you from five, then you each of the B you make into five. Five times five, five is five, what it expands. And you want yeah. to make it smaller, you start to reduce from five to four. Mm -hmm. So that's how you could make different shape. Yeah. So if you from five to four, you make a, a, a angle, all kind of stuff you could think of. Right, right, so right. this is what I give to students. They could follow this, uh -huh. and there's a colorful, so they know where the B I and see, how you connect it. And the see. string is basically your fishing, the monofilament string. Oh, very simple, yeah, yeah fishing it's a, it's lines. A, it's yeah. very available in any, any mm -hmm. store. Mm -hmm. uh, like what I have here, this mm -hmm. is another very Chinese traditional oh, uh, yes. beading I stuff. This, this, this is yeah. a spring. So it's right. Chinese this is people. A, this is a New Year. Chinese yeah, New Year Chinese coming. People and like people put, make put this. this. Yeah, and in fact, uh, you may want to explain that this word when you uh, hang yeah. them, you hang upside down. People in China, this means spring. Right. Then when you hang it upside down, it means spring arrived. Because in China, the, the word arrive and upside down actually sound the same. Same, right. So when people hang it, they don't hang it this, this way. way. Rather they than hang it this way. Yeah, they know the spring <laughs> so, is here. So huh? I have this, and there's another one, is another character called right. fruit. Yeah, mm -hmm. that color doesn't show That's up a, quite right. A blessing, yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a blessing. And it's, uh, it's also people like to hang up during the Chinese New Year, all this festivity yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay, 
Um, let me show you one, some of the, the, the little ones. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me see if I could get it down. This are what we call a oh, cell phone cute. charm. Uh -huh. um, it's very popular in, in like Japan, China, Taiwan. Yeah. They hung this on the antenna of your cell phone. Oh, I see. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, it's a decoration for your cell phone. So they uh -huh. call it cell phone charm. Uh -huh. Or you hand it, or you attach this to your purse. Uh -huh. So It's very cute. This, yeah. is, a, this is a, like a poodle, right? This is a schnauzer. Oh, schnauzer. This is a yeah. baby schnauzer. Yeah. There's a big one. There's a big schnauzer. But yeah. this is, a, the difference is that the bee I'm using this here is a crystal bee. So mm. if you hold it, you could ah. feel that it's heavier. Yes. This uh -huh. is a heavier, it's a crystal bee. So it could bee. be as like a jewelry. It could be a very, yeah? mm. very expensive item, too. Mm. Mm. But uh, for kids, I just, then I use the, the Audience, cheap. Yeah. Plastic, plastic beads, one. yeah. So and this, you practice, and you're yeah. very good at it. You can uh, mm -hmm. so elevate to this crystals. Is, mm -hmm. This is actually a good present too, right? Yes. Because it's a, it's a yeah. crystal. It's cute, and you how you could attach to your purse. It's a it's a nice decoration mm -hmm. to have. Mm -hmm. So this is one kind of bee that's crystal. Mm -hmm. Another one is what I just show you is the normal kind of bee that you could get any kind of the store. Mm -hmm. And there's also another kind. This is a solid color. This mm -hmm. is an opaque color. Uh -huh. So it doesn't shine as much, but it gives you different flavor uh -huh. of the bead. Yeah. Yeah. And there's also another one. That one is the... This one. Yeah. That, oh, yeah, that, this uh, one. This yes, is what they call a, a pearl, mm -hmm. pearl type of bead. Mm -hmm. So these are all different type of bead that you could buy here in the mm -hmm. store. And, and then and all of this, uh, basically, you're saying the, the starting pr process is pretty basic. The starting, if you, let me see. If this is the very basic, uh, this one is actually the basic class. Uh -huh. It's very simple. What you start is you start with this 5B, uh -huh. right? Right. And then from each of the B, you start attach. Another 5. So you just keep going and uh -huh. then see, I have 5, and then I increase to 5. Uh -huh. So it's the peak. Now it's uh -huh. growing to peak. Now if you want it to stay in the same size, you just repeat the same I step. I guess the fishing line gives you the, the, the flexibility, flexibility so you can you shape them through. into any yes. direction. And you have to go through the bead multiple times to connect them together. And, and then, of course, the, the tightness or the, the stre uh, stress in the line uh, should be adjusted um, so you can have the shape. No, sort of but we don't use the elastic one. Uh -huh. Uh, usually, when people using B to make a necklace, they right. use the elastic. But how, how do you s keep that in shape? For example, you want a ball. You have ball, to pull it tight. You put it tight, tight, right? So some mm -hmm. of this, if the, some of my earlier one, like the the little one here, is not so tight. So it's like my daughter like to say, it's squishy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So this is because you didn't pull the, uh -huh. the string tight so enough. So if you put it tight, then it becomes then, rigid, yeah, right. and you can really uh, stand up. Mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah, I see. yeah, right. And look at this one. This is a very special kind of bee. This is uh, what they call a bee in bee. Uh -huh. So if you look closely, solid in, within there's a, a solid color inside and a yeah. transparent color. They call bee in bee. Mm -hmm. This is uh, it's heavier, and it has a nice uh, touch to it. Mm -hmm. It looks very different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, yes. this is a new type of bee that just come out probably a year or two I ago see, that see. people start to use this. And I have another one. There's another fish. This is all using this type of Yeah, I, I, can, I can see th these things because I, my wife does visit the store mm -hmm. called AC Moore, I guess. Uh -huh. Yeah, and right. They have always uh, bring back these little cute things. And I, I guess there's a big industry. Yes. Here, I think people using B, this plastic B, they don't make this type of stuff. I noticed that when they do craft using B, they use uh, wire, wire, and they don't connect in this circling way. Mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. just use wire and then connect together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they use that, for example, if you want to make a lamp shape, mm -hmm. you use a wire and then you just string the beads through, uh, and that's the way they, do, they, they call do. beading. And the beading in China, in, in uh, Japan, is different. This mm -hmm. is what we call beading. We okay. don't use wire. Do you think you can demonstrate a, a, a basic step? Just yeah, to, sure. You know, uh, um, hopefully, our camera can, can cover and let people know that this is a, a, you know, not so difficult, and yet it's so intriguing. You can put your um, creativity into it and make all kinds of objects. Look at this, this one. Yeah. If, let me get this away. No. 
I don't have extra B here. Oh, but what, uh, the, that bag is at the. This okay. is a small one. This oh, is a okay. small bag. I see. So you you don't have a loose beads to show then how you make it. No. See if if you look at here. Uh huh. I could just take this apart. Let's, let's see whether. Yeah, I will. I will let the camera focus on you. See whether. This yep. is just bees, right? Mm hmm And if you take some of the bee, and then you start to string it in here. Mm hmm oh, That's that's basically that's is basically the just process. string them string, yeah. string them together and make it around. For example, in here, you just connect them together. See, from here, you cannot tell that it actually come out with a star. That's the, the, the half-finished uh, star. So you, you have to have a mental picture mm -hmm. yeah. and so then add beads as you go on. And if you make a mistake, you take it out or yeah, it's start take out. over. It's very, yeah. very easy, mm -hmm. like I was taking out here. Mm -hmm. It's just because it's all connected together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? So it, when you string beads... So just, this does take a lot of patience. It takes a lot of patience. True, and you have to have good eyes because sometimes I cannot see the hole to thread the string <laughs> through. So, but yes, the but it's very satisfying. Well, after and you've done it, after right? you've done, I because see. look at all this stuff. It's very. Well, that's very, why I heard some students say they like to always uh, sort of uh, have you do most of it, then they finish it. Yeah, right, 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 right. So they get the satisfaction, but mm -hmm. the hard work is done yeah, by teacher. <laughs> And some of the, the, the stuff is actually easy, it's just re very repetitive stuff. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. when you do this, it's very repetitive. Right, right, right. right. For example, this one. Yes. This I just, just finished. Oh, this is beautiful wreath. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see which is this. This is, this is how this. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, um, in beading, mm -hmm. you could think of different way of decorating, right? Mm -hmm. For example, when I was teaching student doing the stars, I told them that you could take this home and hang on your Christmas tree. Right. Yeah, it, that's it, silly. It's, it's a decoration nice. now, mm -hmm. right? And if you like, you could even put it on the wreath mm -hmm. and then put some of the, the, the you could get this uh, uh, leaves from AC Moore and just link them mm -hmm. together. And mm -hmm. now you have another nice stuff that yeah. not just the animals or yeah. just anything you want to hang on, on your purse. Mm -hmm. but. In here, I also some of these are the Chinese. Nodding. Ah, this is the Chinese nodding. These are yeah, the this Chinese is, nodding. This ro these rose are much, or flowers. Yeah. yeah, these are actually much harder to do because if you look closely, there's two type of knot. Mm -hmm. The middle part, the the inside is called they call a button knot. Button knot. If you look at any kind of Chinese oh yeah Chinese clothes, dresses, they have this like button. The one I have here, this is actually a. Ch a button knot. Ah, so the same thing is here. I That's see. a button knot. Uh -huh. And the outside is they call, um, um, I don't remember exactly what they call in, in the name, but uh, it's a, it's just very, um, it's not very easy to remember. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. not, not like when you do B, you just think of all connect B yeah, together. Yeah, the certain this procedure associated with certain pattern. Is, yeah, mm -hmm. right. And for the Chinese knotting, you have to remember when to go up go down and how to tighten up. So for example, if I want to see which part is harder, that actually the, the making the Chinese nodding is harder, but uh -huh. it have its, it, it thinks it's a culture of, right? right? right so right. it have well, its- Well, it, it's, it is beautiful though. I, I've seen uh, the knotting yeah, right, right. Nodding made on nice. dresses, mm -hmm, right? For example, mm -hmm. button is simple, but even simple button, I think it makes the dress stands out, and I, I actually uh, like the Chinese button because it's so easy, just yeah, put right, it in. Right, but right. making the button itself probably is a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. And then you forgot. Like if I don't do the Chin the this type of uh, button knot for a few months, I forgot how to do. I have to go back and find the book. <laughs> but for this beading, there's no technique. There's basically nothing you need to remember. It, it's more creating of yes. a pattern it's more and imagine the and coloration. Can, yes, yeah. and you could. For example, I have a, a student when I teach them how to do the seals. Mm -hmm. My seal is only white. Uh -huh. She went home, come back with a spotted seal. Oh. So she, it's this is creativity they have. They say, mm. I want to make a, a seal that have two spots on the back, some uh. blue spot. Uh -huh. So it looks nice. Yes. And kids have this type of imagination too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and there's another one since mm. Valentine's coming. Yes. So this uh. is another thing that you could do. Right. right. Yeah, this shape. is a heart yeah. shape, and mm. then I, because I don't have, 
You could also use B to make flowers. Right. Oh, yes. But I yes. didn't have that, so I just just put some Chinese knot in mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Chinese knot in flower. Mm -hmm. I could use B using small smaller one, and yes. then it will be all the the. The, the yeah, beads since beads stuff. have different sizes, you can always yeah, make Yeah, you can make, make whatever yeah. you like. It, it's just, mm -hmm. you could imagine stuff. And one of the students, she like uh, Pokemon. So mm -hmm. she went home and make different kind of Pokemon. All kinds of Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> right, because Object. if an if a, uh, a animal is a shape, have a shape, you could use bead, mm -hmm. right? You could use your imagination, your different color. You could make all kinds mm -hmm. of Nice so stuff. The one thing I, I like about it is that it, everything is hollow, so you don't really have to stuff a lot of things in, inside. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. you would have to do more beads and heavy and so on, right? Yeah, right, and right, right. They, they give and you the 3D it, yeah, picture a without that many. Of, it's, a, it, it, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. of the like instruction, when, when I have instruction of how to make the, the heart, they say you could stuff some kind of a, a wrapping paper. Uh -huh. Those are plastic, uh, transparent plastic one. Stuff in there, so it have give you some kind of structure in there. So oh some yeah, kind the, the of you can, you yeah. can in, uh, I mean, easier to handle in the beginning. Yeah, right. But then later on, you can take the plastic yeah, out, right? right? So that's, that's, a, that's yeah. another way people mm -hmm. was, was doing it. But yeah. this is just um, um, the Chinese school, the first, we started um, just this semester, so we only have uh, 14, 14 weeks, mm -hmm. and usually I let them, I give them two weeks to finish one. Mm -hmm. And kids start to get the hang of it. So they uh -huh. usually... So like homework, one. two weeks you finish yeah. one object. I yeah, see. but then at the later time, like after the week five, week six, kids finish one in, they take it home, then they finish, and they come back and they want to do another one. Mm -hmm. So they, they are very into it, they like it. Mm -hmm. because That's good, they, that's very good, yeah. But only thing is I only have girls. <laughs> I don't have boys. You mean no boys in the class? <laughs> no boys in the class. Well, this we must tell the <laughs> audience. <laughs> Nowadays, uh, you know, uh, anything girls can do, any you know, boy can do. Anything yeah. boy we, can do, any girl can do. Yeah. Right? Uh, last year when we had this ACS, um, I have some boys uh, uh -huh. because I was doing the talk. And li they like it. Uh -huh. uh, I have three boys that was doing the beating. Uh -huh. And they're pretty good, too. Perhaps you have to have different objects. Yes, to attract I probably them, need right? to have different kind of stuff. For example, um, I'm going to do some kind of dragon or yeah, dinosaur. dinosaur. <laughs> there, and then say. probably Pokemon. Right, <laughs> they will come. Yeah. Like this is the this is a very traditional Chinese um, dragon. Right? This is uh, a dragon. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Hmm. So it's uh, I don't have a big one. Mm -hmm. um, some people use this to make a very sophisticated big dragon, long right, one. That, right, right. that was uh -huh. very nice too. Yes. So it's just um, use your imagination. Very good. It's very, good. very Yeah. Good. I noticed that the, the, the blue one, that uh, dog. Uh, the schnauzer? That, yeah. That, that kind of bead, is that the same as That's uh, the this same kind as of this one. one. Yes. But this one is diff uh, smaller. Mm -hmm. The bead that I'm using yeah. is that uh, the big one is the 8 millimeter one. Mm -hmm. And the small one is 4. So there's different size. For uh -huh. example, this one, this crystal one is actually three. Mm -hmm. So this, you you see, uh, you, you say there's a difficulty when you see this, you know, the, 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 the where is the <laughs> uh, Do you need a magnifying glass? Uh, uh, not really, not not that bad yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, is it, I can see the how how tiny the hole yeah, will be. Yeah, I think many the problem is not you. Um, it's hard to handle because it's small. So right. your hand have to be very delicate when you have the string over. Uh -huh. So that's the that's the hard part. Yeah. Otherwise, I think the small bee make a very cute one. Yes, certainly. And yeah. it's shiny. Mm -hmm. and, and crystal is basically is a jewelry component. So, right, right, right. So this right, is right. a very make very nice gift. Yeah, I think I, this this is something that for all ages. I mean, even for. A senior people, let's yes. say your eyesight yes. is not good, then you, you make, uh, make big, big ones. ones. I use big and beads. And doing this kind of stuff. So this right. is what people will appreciate. Right, right. And um, for example, this one is easier. You want to make the big one. Yeah. This, I, I probably even can attempt this. This is a two-dimensional, and uh, I can see it's a rec, you know, it's regularly mm, grow. It's right going you just down. have to remember the color change when you change the yes, red to black. Yes, you have to be patient, yeah. knowing when you need to change to the color. Otherwise, they're going to make the whole piece Do you red. Do you use a uh, paper guide or anything to, to remember the color change? I have, all I have, this one we did it uh, 
uh, on the previous class. For mm -hmm. example, this is the picture of it. Let me see if I could find yeah. it. This okay. This so, reminds me like needlework. They yes, always have a yes, pattern. Yes. Then you can yes. go through and so you remember. When you look at this picture, you will know that you, you go count down, the number of beads and so on. You, you know, count yeah. the bead, how many, and then actually this is mm -hmm. all four, and then four. You keep going four, 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 four down, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then there's uh, about thirty of them. Then you come back up, and mm -hmm. another using the the B of the previous lot, the previous color, mm -hmm. and then you add another three. Now. So it see. will be all the way up again, and then go back down, and then up. Okay. And then the only thing you have to remember is that when to put. Color. Right. Otherwise, you'll come out yeah. with. So there is a, a, a simple algorithm in this. I mean, yes. I'm not uh, trying yes, to, to put your computer simple. science background into this. <laughs> the, the algorithm actually helps you. In fact, I think it may be possible for people to uh, start building so-called the building blocks. It's like software program subroutines. Yeah, you right. you built small building blocks and you know saved in the boxes and you know there's a string this is a two row string mm -hmm, single mm -hmm. row string so on and when you need to build things you can say, oh, i take that and you sp you know speed up your your process you can yeah, take the subroutine and write a big program i mean that's mm -hmm. how big programs okay, written, right? yeah, yeah that's true that's true right? that's very so true that's yeah. a, so that's that's the subroutine that you build from <laughs> one stop to another. Exactly. So you build a yeah. small one and then link different stuff to, to make a bigger yeah. one. Well, I think this is fascinating, and uh, we, we really uh, hope we can have more time for you to demonstrate. Maybe perhaps next time you you come with uh, beads and start from the beginning and show and, show and how uh, you have make some uh, kids uh, work yeah, with you. Yeah, okay. Sure. sure. Um, but this is the first time we just uh, introduce uh, mm -hmm. to everybody. And I can see that. Uh, and could go to Chinese school. I do teach in there. <laughs> All right. The Chinese school suddenly have these classes. Yeah. Well, um, I think um, uh, in our show, uh, we also always uh, have a game, scramble game, and we have kids waiting for playing the game. Okay. So I uh, thank you for uh, uh, joining us uh, today. And uh, I know you have brought your daughter, Alicia, yeah. here. And uh, she will be uh, playing the scramble mm -hmm, games mm -hmm. with us, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Now, uh, this is a, a very interesting uh, artwork, and it's called uh, uh, beading. And uh, the materials are very easy uh, to get. Uh, any craft store would have them. And I can see so many pretty objects. And I guess uh, uh, children would be interested. Uh, although Mrs. Wu says that more girls doing this and uh, no boys. I don't know. I think you know if uh, giving the right object, uh, you, you know, boys may be interested. Perhaps making a sword or making you know, as you say, dinosaur. Now, uh, Mrs. Wu is a teacher from Northern Westchester Chinese School, uh, which holds Chinese language classes every Saturday at a Somers Middle School, and. Uh, uh, they have over 250 students there and learning Chinese language and as well as many of the cultural subjects. So uh, today we are very fortunate to have Mrs. Wu to show us uh, one of the cultural uh, subjects uh, called beading. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. And we will see you next week at the same time. Thank you. This is really interesting. You know, um, usually
Welcome to Scramble Game Show. Today, for the first time, we have a real electronic TV game show. We have buzzers here. We have a magnetic board. OK? Uh, so the kids here now playing in the studio is pretty much like a real game show. OK? Now, the game's still the same. First basic game, scramble word game. Okay, uh, when we goes on, when and when later on we may be able to play other games like scramble bingo, scramble poker, and other games. But today we play the basic game. Now, the people in the audience at home watching TV actually can play with us. Of course, you can't uh, input your words yet. Maybe someday in the future, when we have interactive TV, you can use that remote control and push a button, just like the people here push a button. And if that buzz come in first, you can then input the word. All right? So you stay home, watch how we play. Just imagine you could, with a control in your hand, and say, see, I can beat this person. All right? OK, shall we begin? Everybody ready? All right. You know that uh, there are 136 cards in here. These cards that belong to another set, so I didn't take any cards. So there's 136 cards here. And we're going to play whole set until the cards are all used up. All right? I shovel them already. And I will put letters up We per our agreement. Three of you, uh, two of you, younger one, or maybe I first introduce you people. This is Jerry. Jerry, you are third grader, right? And Olivia is fourth grader, right? Rachel is five, fifth grader, right? And Alicia, sixth grader. Jamming, sixth grader, right? So from the three on this, uh, my right side, Rachel, Alicia, and Jemming will play four letter and up. Okay? And you two can play three letter and up. All right? As the minimum length of the words. Okay. Now we shall begin. Okay? C. M. E. S. M. N, no words, I, all right, who's pushed the button, Jiaming? Mine, M-I-N-E. M-I-N-E, okay, you are on that side, we'll put this word here, M-I-N-E, okay, hopefully we have enough space, all right, continue on, S again. L E Okay. Right. Mess M E S S. Okay. M E S S. Wow, you use the two valuable S for one word. Okay. Mess. Okay. R T O, yes. Okay, never mind. Okay, we should remember. You have to. Hmm? R. R O T is a word. You are thinking R O D or R O T. Okay, R O T rot. Okay, because I thought you. I heard you say rod, rot, okay? Now, N, L, another L. Troll, T-R-O-L-L. 
Oh, you steal this rot, T-R-O-L-L, troll. Okay, now remember, uh, I probably should do this. I'll put Alicia's mess on another column, okay? So we know that this is Jemming's column, okay? And then we'll use the other space for, oop, W, T, no vowels, huh? I. No words? Buzz, who buzz? Jimmy? Wilt. W I L T. Wilt. Something wilted, huh? Wilt. Okay. Oops. Remember, you two can make three letter up, right? So, R. Ah, miner, okay, as a person who mines, or miner, okay. Now you, let's say I'll put on the bottom here, all right? That's your words, you are in third, okay? O, H, another O, A. Can. C A N. C A N. Okay. C A N. I'll put you on this side now. All right. I. R. U. No. Okay. T. Push the button. Lots of words. Three letter words. Yes? Hurt. Oh, that's a four letter word. Good. H U R T. Hurt. Mm. I'll put yours on this side, okay? I don't know where the camera can see. I'll put this up. That's you, and that's Olivia. How's that? Okay? Otherwise, I'll be blocking you, right? All right, now, another E. Wow, now we have too many vowels. Can, steal can. Oh, can is stolen, make a cane. All right, it's very good steal. Now, T, as wild. Yes? Fit, F-I-T. Oh, F-I-T. Fit. Mm, very good. Wow, you're waking up, huh? You waited for a while, now you're just stealing from left and right. H. U. S. E. Um, right, hose. Okay. Uh oh. Host is stolen by house, okay, so that belongs to here, all right. See how fast that is, huh? Before I even put down host, it become house, all right. E, D, M, D-O-M-E, oh wow, that was good, D-O-M-E, that belongs to here. Okay, so far we have troll, house, wilt, mess, hurt, cane, fit, dome, minor, okay? A coming up, H coming up, I coming up, E coming up. L coming up. Chill. Wow, that was quick. H A I L. Ooh. I hope we don't have hail, although we did have a little bit of snow today. Okay. That was a quick one. 
R. Oh, change your, change your cane to crane. Very good, excellent. You're building up. T. G. Very good. Get. All right. Olivia, got to get. Better protect it. Otherwise, people will get the get <laughs> away from you, OK? When you have short words, you got to protect it. U. N. Anything? F. All right, fin. Oh, I would have thought you would say fun. Eh, fin is fine too. Okay, fin. All right. T. O. H. B. Several words already. Ah. Uh, do we accept that? No, I mean, uh, it, it's like uh, the uh, thou, you. We probably don't accept that kind of thou, right? But there's other words. Think about it, OK? Right, H-U-T. Okay. Who's that? Hmm? No, no hout. You mean H-O-U-T, you're thinking? No. C. Three letter words. Cab, C-A-B. Uh, C-A-B. Cab. OK. Aha. Uh -huh. Olivia is catching up with all these three letter words here. Hmm? D. Oops. Oh, Finn is stolen away to be fined. OK, excellent. X, H, L, I. Oops. Filth, F-I-L-T-H, and fit. Oh, wow. Fit is F I L T? H. Filth? Okay. Very good. All right. Filth. Now, a little advice for the uh, younger ones you defend yourself quick or steal from the other side, too, okay? Don't let everybody just stealing your words away. N. Y. Cabin, C A B I N. Cabin, C A B I N. Ooh. Filthy, F I L T H Y. Okay, that's fine. Uh, cabin first, and filthy next. Okay. Now, this game is very beneficial for every player. Whether you make more or less words, doesn't matter, because you learn in the process. In fact, that's how you get the impression, how the words are built the longer and longer. So don't feel bad your words are stolen, but try hard to steal one back. Sometimes you say, ah, I know. If a letter comes up, I can steal that one. If a letter comes up, I can steal that one. OK? That's how you play. V, I, Y, E. Vex, V-E-X. Vex, Vex. OK, V-E-X. Vex? These are Scrabble words. R, another R, D, Rid, R-I-D, Rid, okay, 
R I D. Yes? Who's? Oh, okay. You. Your Y O U R. Why? <laughs> that is good. Nobody noticed that one, huh? Y O U R. Okay. Your. Camera may have problem cover all the corner, but you probably can remember all the words. Troll, house, wilt, fine, filthy, uh, cabin, your, mess, dome, minor, hurt, crane, hail, hut, get, vex, rid. Now, A. Raid, R A I D. Ah, right. Raid. That is a raid. You raid the word rid. Okay. D. H. E. So vex make vex. V E X E D. V E X. That would be past tense. That's not allowed. Okay. Have to make a new word. The rule, simple rule, you cannot just add an S to a word or change, add a D or N to make a past tense because that's still the same word. Okay? So you have to make new words. E, F, feed, F E E D. Feed. Very good. Feed. Okay. P. M. R. Freed. F R E E D. Freed. Ah, uh, yeah. This is very good steel. Freed. All right. F R E E D. Oh. All oh, right, feeder. All right. Change your own word from freed to feeder. Okay, like a bird feeder. All right. Okay. E. Z. Hem. H E M. Oh, hem. Mm -hmm. H E M. All right. <laughs> okay. P. Oh, another P. Wow, triple P. France, P R A N C E, Ukraine. Ukraine, P R A N C E, France. Oh, all right, France. Now, you, you have to explain what the word is to the uh, other kids. What France It's sort of like jumping around. Okay. Prince. Okay. I will put over here. Oops. It's getting. Okay. A. S. Zap. Z A P. Oh, zap. Mm hmm. Do you. You didn't want S? Okay. Modes. M O D E S. M. Dome. Huh? Where? Dome. You add S? Modes. Oh. M O D E S. Modes. Oh, very good. M O. Okay, is a mode, and you have flora. Modes. Okay. Uh huh. Several modes of something. Okay, good. E, O, wild. Pep, P E P. P E? Pope, P O P E. Oh, okay. P E P P O P E. So, Pope steals. Okay. 
I guess Pope we accept. It's not a proper noun. Okay. Do we capitalize Pope or not? Huh? If we capitalize a word, that's not allowed in word gaming. Okay. I. This time we'll let it go. Okay. I think Pope may be capitalized. D. T. C. Anything? Wild. Hunt. Hunt. From hot. Oh, hunt. Okay, H U N T. This one is in? Yeah. All right. Become hunt. Y. Ooh, winter. Win city, C I T Y. Oh, city. Good. C I T Y. C-I-T-Y. Ah. I, first I thought somebody would say I see, and then stolen to city. S. N. F. No vowels. Ooh. Wild. Um, using raid. Using raid. Um, rained. Rained. Very good. Raid. Okay. Hit. Something happened to this cabin. Cabin is falling apart. Okay, put that. Oops, some, wait, ho, 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 I hear. Raid and into rained. The while is E, right? Rained. Okay. Drained. Oh. Did you see what he did to you? Rained and drained. Okay? So, drain. All right. T, B, N. Another N. Ooh, no vowel. Q. A. Can. C A N. Oh, C A N. Okay. Watch that one. That's not very safe. Can. Scan. S C A N. Okay. Scan. Explain to Olivia what scan means. I know what scan to look at something. Okay. Scan. Oops. Okay. All right. We got this E. Who, who pushed the button? Canes. From skin to canes. Oh, you do. You like your canes, huh? Too much uh, Christmas uh, sugar cane. Huh? So you got canes. Remember your cane was stolen, make it into crane by yourself, and then prance. Huh? T. A. Okay, fat. That was an easy one. Fat over here. Fat. W N oh. Waft. W A F T. W A F T. Oh, waft. Oh. Okay, tell Jerry what waft means. It's like blow somewhere. Okay. I'll put over here. R. Born. B, B O R N. Oh, born. Very good. Born. B O R N. Very good. Now we're getting less letters now. A. Gate. Still get. Still get, make into gate. All right. Okay, that's a good steal. Gate. L, T again, K. O. Tot, T-O-T. 
T-O? T. T-O-T, okay, tot. Uh -huh. D, E, O. T-O-T-E. Tote, all right. A tote bag. All right, I'm gonna put over here, okay? You just remember that's yours. J, G, S. Still Pope Twig spoke. S is okay. Oh. That was Pope. Oh. oh, that's a Pope. You want to do spoke? No. Okay. All right. I can make spoken. Spoken with what word? No. Three letters. I'm going to hurry up a bit. We're running out of time. A. Um, soak. Soak. S O A K. Very good. S O A K. Now, we are running out of time. We only have two letters left, but I think this is pretty uh, interesting game. There's a lot of interesting words made, and there's a lot of you know, stealing back and forth. We have to end the game because, as you know, on television, it goes by half an hour, an hour, and so forth. Okay? Thank you all for coming, and we'll play again. All right? We'll end this game. Perhaps we'll play some other time. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.